Okay, let's talk about the Google Pixel 7. One of the nice things I like about it is the connectivity. It, um, when I was traveling, it stayed in 5G. Or LTE, and it down. It seems to take full advantage of my um, high-speed internet, 75 megabits a second, and that's probably because it has something called Wi-Fi 6E, 802. Uh, 0.11 AV with 2.4 or 5 gigahertz, 6 gigahertz, and all kinds of, kinds of stuff. So that's good. It's pretty swift, as you see. That sensor 2 works great. One of the things I didn't like is that I was not able to connect a USB um, flash drive to download, to move pictures and video from the uh, memory into, into the flash drive. Let me show you. Okay, so we have to go, oops, apologies from, uh, I think it's, where is it? There it is, connected devices. Also, it doesn't have an audio jack, so you're going to have to you would have to obtain uh, Bluetooth head, uh, earbuds, or you could get a um, notice a connected device. Not, it wouldn't connect. It wouldn't connect. You could also get a um, a USB um, USB C headphones to wire into it. Takes great pictures. Uh, color science is as, as good as Canon. And I'll attach some picture uh, pictures and videos to to this, you know, with and that's coming up next. And the sits tensor two makes it fast enough. And it's the size seems to be just right. It's a bit small. It's a bit smaller, uh, smaller than my Motorola, and thinner than both of them. So that seems to be just uh, seems to work out just fine. Also, it didn't come with a power brick and a micro or a micro SD slot, but it has. This one has 128 gigabytes of memory, which is plenty. And um, the up, upper model is 256, and that's also a lot of memory. So can I recommend this phone for 600? Mm, maybe compared to an Apple phone, yeah. Or maybe compared to a high-end Galaxy, it's equal to both of those in terms of use. So let me, let me uh, that concludes this quick review and you'll see the videos and pictures that the phone captures.